Angelo from Wood Green. Oh, yeah. Looking for a 10th straight win. Only stop at one stoppage on the slate there. Danny Connor on a good run, winning his last three. Let's rejoin our MC, Michael Pass. Ladies and gentlemen, for the final time this evening, Eddie Hearn, sponsored by Betfair, Elite Scaffolding and North Fire. Live and exclusive on Sky Sports HD Fight Night, proudly presents 10 three-minute rounds of boxing for the vacant Southern Area Light Welterweight Championship. The officials have been appointed by the Southern Area of the British Boxing Board of Control. Area representative of ringside, Mr. Bill Edwards. Timekeeper at the bell, Nick White. The referee in charge of the action, Mr. Ken Curtis from Haynes. Introducing to you firstly, boxing out on the red corner, wearing the red colour shorts, trimmed with white. At the weigh-in yesterday, he scaled 9 down, 13 pounds, 8 ounces. His record this evening is 12 contests, 6 wins, 5 defeats, 1 draw. Presenting from Carshalton, Danny Cassius Connor. And the person in, boxing out of the blue corner, wearing the white of the shorts, trimmed with gold, red, silver and blue. At the weigh-in yesterday, he scaled 9 down, 13 pounds, So when I say break, you take a step back. In the event of a boxer going down, the other one goes to a neutral corner and defend yourself at all times, OK? Shake hands. The live action keeps on coming. We may have had the main event with Tony Bellew and Edison Miranda, but there's plenty of fans still here for this southern area like welterweight title between Chris Evangelou, who's really popular from local Wood Green, and Danny Connor from Carr Shulton. It's one of those sort of trade fights, isn't it, that has captured the imagination of a lot of locals. Well, it has. There's a lot still hanging around to see this. He's got good support, Chris Evangelou. But he's had a little bit easy, never been behind before, beyond six before. He's been mapped out a little bit where Danny Connor, he's come up a little bit tougher than him. He's been ten rounds, so he might, you know, just know a bit. Up in a bit of form as well, Connor with the uh, red skirt like outfit. Didn't Johnny Nelson and some of the Ingle boys wear things like that in the old days? Long white, more traditional trunks of Chris Evangelo. Yep, Johnny always liked to wear a skirt. Thought you'd like to get that one in. <laughs> you knew I would, didn't you? So did Johnny. Should be a good match though, Evangelo unbeaten in nine. And Connor, a bit more experienced, one half of his 12 professional fights, both 26. Quite an unorthodox style Evangelou's got, but he's effective. Neither one are big punches, but has a nice right hand from Evangelou. Yet one knocked out from Evangelou, none yet for Connor. But plenty of uh, pride at stake in this uh, southern area battle. And they often dish up really good ones. Well, it's a southern area title fight on a big stage, so these boys will be really up for, for it. Evangelou showing his speed there, trying to get in and out. And a switch hitting there from Connor. Both a bit unorthodox. Left hand from Evangelou. That was a good shot. That's broken Connor up. Got the crowd on their feet, too. It certainly has good punch. Now, if he had 
had a bit of power, that might well have been all over. Really looking to unload that left hook, Chris Evangelou. Connor's tough though. Decent enough first rounder. Who has been? Both have their successes. Maybe Evangelou just a few more. What a good round. Trying to rough up Connor on the inside there. Evangelou. And they touch gloves. Online, William Hill, the home of betting. Welcome back to our first fight night of the new season. Now, after the main event, you might think the audience could drift away. I'll tell you what, there's a lot of people around us still, Glenn, who are going to enjoy this one. This certainly isn't. They've left their seats and they've just moved forward to the security rails. They want to see it as close as they can. And there's a good lively opening round. That was an excellent left hook from Chris Evangelou. It's a match for the Southern Area 10 stone belt that was vacated by Darren Hamilton. Remember, he moved up and upset Ashley Fearfane in Liverpool. Fantastic win that for Hamilton at short notice. And I'll tell you what, these two are looking to dish up a good battle on what's been a good night's boxing. We've had a bit of everything. We certainly have. Good shot there from Evangelou. Yeah, crisp, hard, accurate. Obviously trained extremely well for this. Even at a training camp out at Floyd Mayweather's Las Vegas gym. Chris Evangelou. And his brother Andreas boxes. Well, it comes back at him, but Evangelou gets uh, the hands up, blocks most of those punches, and then goes back to his quick jab. Out of range there with the right hand, Danny Connor from Carl Shulton. His lack of power might be a problem for Connor. Because it looks like Evangelou has the edge in skills. Right hand as well. Landing flash. Growing in confidence now. Calls himself flash. And he's a he's a right character as well outside the ring. They're all on this bill tonight. Yeah, so sure. much personality. That's what you want. You know, you want to give them a stage to show what they've got. You need the characters in boxing. It's a sport that breeds them. So you've got Ochiang and Bellew and Evangelo in a room together. I tell you what, you wouldn't get a word in edgeways. Very lively. And they sell tickets, which is. Uh, to see what the fans like to see too at matchroom. Good action, this. Yeah, Evangelo, the more accurate Connor, missing with most of his punches. He's thrown plenty. He's trying. Gets his hands up, Evangelo. Connor tries to get a combination going, bit of wincing there with his left eye, Danny Connor. Forcing his work a bit, Evangelou. Needs to pace himself, doesn't he? The man from Woodgreen. Yeah, a little bit more, but he's still getting a decent shot done. Nice little fast left hand there.
get three new game modes first on Xbox Live. His chin is open. When he goes back, that's why one, one shot, like Carlo says, one shot, you're not going to get to his chin. Two's and three's going forward. Pablo Mahongo and uh, his dad as well, Kostakis Evangelou in the corner. Down to the, the middle, still landing with punches of Angelou. White trunks with the flash on the gold waistband and the white boots as well of Chris Evangelou, 26 year old in fight number 10, trying to protect uh, an undefeated record. And with Danny Connor, who's lost five, drawn one, six wins, so a bit of a mixed bag. But he has got more experience, and he also has been ten rounds against Tyler Goodjohn. Good win at your call in May. Oh, trying to find the uppercut there. Connor, that was nice. That's another sort of decent match, doesn't it? It is, yeah. Quite even match. A little bit quicker and more better reflexes of Angelo, and that's slightly the difference, but Connor still coming back. Free Ken Curtis just breaking them there. It's also been good tonight, then, as the referees haven't had much to do. They just let the fighters get on with it. Yeah, it's all been done in the ring. They're doing them. It's been good boxing throughout. Good action. Oh, left hand from Evangeli. Connor almost went down. What a breakthrough in the third round for the flash. Oh, well, we're going to get a knockout here. Connor very nearly went down heavily. He's still hurt, I think. Looking for the, the follow-up shots. Trying a bit too hard of Angelou. More blood to the nose of Connor. But now he knows that he can hurt his man. Left hook. Connor brave. Can't get the jab going. Blinking heavily. Bravely fights back though, doesn't he, Connor? But he's getting caught. The hands are coming down. Valiant from Connor. But Evangelou, well, he could be on the verge of what would be his best win so far. Yeah, quick, quick combinations are what he needs now. Quick combinations to the head. The jab back going, Connor. You've got to give him credit. As he could have been on the very brink now. But he gets through. There it is, a big left hook. He really jumped into that. Got everything behind it. Nice clean shot. And then the legs go, leaps in. And it's just a single. enjoying himself doesn't it we saw Lee Purdy earlier absolutely loving his brawl Evangelou loving the way he's doing this it's the big occasion and when you're on top it's great bravery from Connor though sometimes with the, uh, the lighter punches I mean, you get really good action. It can work that way. It certainly can. 
you know, they they they, they either one thinks you know the other can't punch, so they decide to stand a little bit more than they normally would. They do things different, you know. As a box it's uh, November last year, Evangelou. Good body shot from Connor. I know Evangelou was desperate to get back into the ring. Get the career rolling again. If you can build on that knockdown in the third. And maybe uh, of course will be another stoppage on this card. Well that will give him real confidence. But Connor, to be fair, he's come back with his own combinations. Sometimes what these belts, the Southern Area title, they do mean something. Evangelou from left hand. Kidology from Connor. Don't tell me they don't want this. Oh, most certainly. Under the great little fight here. Andy. You might have looked at this and said, neither one's a puncher. They're just going to box. Not going to be the thrill for spills. But this is good. It's really good action. Maybe some of the best has been saved to last tonight here at Alexandra Palace. Plenty of people on their feet around ringside. They know these guys. The danger for Connor though, he holds that chin up in the air. Just a little bit high, and that's what Evangelo is looking for. Again from Evangelou. That was a shot that forced the knockdown. Touch gloves. Good fight. Ever wanted to be the imaginary friend of an idiot boy in the west of Ireland? <laughs> Me neither. Mum says you were a mistake. D not a mistake, an accident. But when you're growing up with this family. Take my foot! And these role models. Oh, geez, are we actually fishing? You need all the help you can get. You're so unbelievable. <laughs> Why are you wearing high heels? An excellent question. You're unbelievable. That big right hand up the middle, Danny. He's there, Danny. Keep your right hand up the middle. Apologies to Danny Connor, who wasn't knocked down. He very nearly went down. He was rocked in the third round. But I tell you what, he's come back and he's shown some heart to still be with Evangelo. Yeah, he's showing plenty of metal, but he's just holding his body very straight up, chin in the air. And that's why Evangelou's had success with the left hook. And that left hand is the honey punch for Evangelou. And he managed to force one stoppage. It was in the first round against Marius Jasutis, and it was here at Alexandra Palace a couple of years ago. So maybe this is a you know, good hunting ground. For the local boy, got his friends and family here. Look at this sharp skills, left hook again. Connor sucks it up, but he can't keep taking these. You know, he's taking some some big punches. Comes back with a nice right hand, but Evangelo has got to keep the pressure on. He's got to start throwing a few more hooks, twos and threes. Another big left. Just can't seem to get the head out of the way of that shot from Evangelou. He tries to prise open the body. Just a little bit too sharp and slick, Evangelou. And he knows now he's got the key, the answer. If he can disguise that left hook and it lands flush again, maybe. Yeah, it might be a left hook or right hand, left hook combination punch that can do it. He's taking the single punch, Connor, fighting back again, showing great heart, showing it means a lot to him too. Jab, Connor. But how is he going to make a dent in Evangelou? He's got to try and slow him down. Then he work right back. Bam, the left hook goes in again. And this time, a bit of fire from Evangelou. Evangelou's 
got to keep the pressure on. He's relying on a single shot all the time. Take the fight to Connor. Keep on trying to load on him. You know, you can see why he hasn't got a string of stoppages to his name. He throws one punch, steps off. Good honest battle at its level between Evangelo and Connor. Well, the crowd's riveted, they're all standing behind me, around the sides, everybody's enjoying this fight. That's the body shot this time, something different from Evangelo. Again, Connor comes back with good combinations. Ken Curtis, the referee who scores the fight. And I wonder how he's seeing it. We are to Evangelou, but you know there's some close patches in the uh, in these rounds. Yeah, I think Evangelou's always doing a little bit more. But I tell you what, nobody's told these guys that this isn't the main event. I think they believe it is. They're certainly fighting like it is. There's the the left hook landing again. Now that's where. Evangelou stops instead of following it up and again he stops instead of a combination coming in good left hook but nothing to follow it and that's the, the story why he's not really getting the knockouts or the stoppages that he should get <laughs> Right, let's Come go, Dan. Let's go. Threes and fours, Dan. Second half of this southern area battle. That's what it is. It's been a really good one to finish the evening at Alexandra Palace. Threes and fours. The advice to Danny Connor, who uh, Evangeli was telling us before, has got a good engine. You know, he knows he needs to be in, in tip-top shape. If he can't get rid of him, then he has to go ten rounds, which he hasn't done before. Not beyond at six, Evangelou. He was out sparring in Vegas with all sorts of uh, fighters in that Mayweather gym recently. This is good from Connor. Yeah, good little start of the round. Nice straight hand, Evangelou just holding his hands up. Not really throwing that much, but goes for the, the left hook again. Connor can remain busy and catch the eye of the referee. It's a really good effort, this, from a man who was buckled and in real trouble in that third round. I wonder if Evangelou just might think, no, he hasn't gone yet, what do I have to do? Does he have to up his own work now, Evangelou, in response? Or will Evangelou start to worry about the distance? Six rounds, the farthest he's ever been. This time he's going up to, to ten. <laughs> nice body shot there from Evangelou. But some good work at the beginning of this round from Danny Connor. Still there, still trying. Right hand again, this is a really good round for Connor. Just shut up shop, hasn't he, Evangelou? I just think he might be frustrated, you know, fighting in front of his home fans that, you know, that earlier work didn't force the stoppage, and now he's thinking, what next? Well, he landed with one left hook, and then Connor came back with four. So he's getting the better of this round. Nice left. Yeah, that was quality from Evangelou. Oh, eye-catching stuff. End of the sixth round when there was a shift in the plot towards Connor. Now it turns the other way. And Evangelou back in the driving seat. Oh, what a good round this one is. That's 20 seconds. I'll tell you what, Dan. Glad we didn't go home after the Bellew <laughs> fight. Well, next to the of boxing. Start to finish. Oh, the tail of two halves. 
Harry Finney. All right. Yeah. Listen to me, Dan. He's tiring. Don't get that Listen, 10 down. I thought Connor might have nicked that. Right. Right. two minutes of it. Listen, he's not laying the glove on you. Just listen to me. Right? I want you to keep popping him off, twos and threes. Just watch that big roll, right? Watch it. All he's doing is catching you with one big shot, right? And that's it. But what he's doing is finding your balance. Nice and tight. Yeah, a nice end to the fight from Evangelou. It's a shame because Connor done good work in the first half of it. But then pretty eye-catching work from Evangelou just stealing the thunder a little bit. Look how many they've thrown. Only five difference. Quality on the statistics to Evangelou, which is probably how Ken Curtis will have it, the referee. But you now this is Connor territory. This is where he can, uh, you know, establish his experience. More rounds in the bank. Both of them young as pros, and it's really good to see them giving, you know, an excellent effort late on in the night in front of uh, a decent crowd left here at Alexandra Palace. Good work from Connor again. So a few shots to the body. Remember Evangelou now in the seventh round for the first time in his life and he's been out of the ring for 10 months. Connor as recently as May did a 10 rounder which he won. Will that come into play? Will the second half of this, you know, favour Danny Connor more? In which case it might be a really close affair come the uh, final bell. Better quality from Evangelou, busier at times, Connor, who's smiling from in between the gun shield. Now, the other thing with the lack of punch power is that fighters tend to have good chins, don't they? Yeah, they do. Oh, Connor, I mean, he's took some decent shots throughout this fight. I know, not a big power punch of Evangelou, but he's took them. Only brave enough. Still working. He had a really good pace. Connor, look at this. <laughs> a bit of a shuffle. Seemed like both of them were going to do that at the same time. They're enjoying this, and so are the crowd. Well, he's definitely doing more in this round, Connor. Just showboating a bit for them, as he's done all the way through this. Pulls a big left to go. Another eye-catching punch. And then we get into the last 30 seconds, he's wanting to try and do more. And the friends and family on their feet, Team Evangelou. We'll make some noise, that's what they were saying to us at the match from media day, the Evangelous. I'll tell you what they are, outside of the ring. Trying to get the punches off, Connor back with more. It's a really, really good, even trade fight, this. Yeah, a real honest effort from Danny Connor, still trying, and for me, he's done more in that round. Look at them, smiles. <laughs> good stuff. Rocky Fielding at ringside there, he's uh, in action on October the 6th in the Bull, alongside uh, the lightweights in prize fighter. Plenty coming your way this season. straight away with the jab. Don't let him set. You've got to work more then. You've got to throw more punches, right? You've got to throw more punches. Right? He's looking for a rest then. This is where you're going to step down. Take him out. Listen, you've been here. Every time you slip one, I slip the other. Look for a combination. Don't do nothing. You've been here, says uh, Alec Wilkie to Danny Connor. Calls himself Cassius. 
nine minutes left. And you've got Evangelou quite away in front because of the first half of the fight. Yeah, uh, just the flashier work. He's just rocking the head back of Connor a bit too much, you know, to steal the, the rounds. Doesn't tell the full story because the rounds have been close. But just work like that, you know. And he follows it up this time, Evangelou. It's the extra little bit of power, the extra little bit of class that catches the eye. And Connor tries to dig deep. And he keeps coming back. But Evangelou just that extra. Tell you, you know what? It looks like these two have worked as hard as Bellew and Miranda or, or Purdy and Carrasco, you know, the real main events. Yeah, well, they will have, you know, because it means just as much to them because they want to be the main event one day. And look at this. Good work back from Connor. It's a fabulous effort, this, in the away corner, Danny Connor, digging deep, keeping his boxing together. Well, there's little flashes of good work from Evangelo, but in this second half of the fight... Body shot him, body shot hurt him, Evangelo, and then he followed it up to the head. You know, this is late on, tough ten-rounder, tries to take some of those on the gloves and show his heart, but... There's another little twist here. Yeah, he took a few on the chin as well. Now he's going to try and pick it up a little bit, catch the eye towards the end, but Connor's having none of it. Dragging everything out of himself here, Danny Connor. It's an almighty effort. Two nice punches there, shows his good skills and reflexes there. But it's been another hard working effort from Danny Connor. Off he goes again, last 30 seconds trying to just steal the round with a bit of good action. But Connor pushing out the shots, he's better in the second half of the fight. Still blood from the nose of Connor. But a real surge. Might have nicked that one. Danny Connor. Danny Tighter. Step back, Danny, Step back, Danny, and punch your gloves. Make him miss, but don't take them on the gloves. You hear me, Christopher? Yeah. Dig deep. Come on, this last few rounds. Come on. Do you hear me, Christopher? There's the father with the full name. Yeah, just trying to tell him not to take the punches on the on the gloves, to move the head, slip from side to side. Too often he's just standing straight up. But every now and again he pulls out a cracking shot. A very good variety and good speed to go with it. This <laughs> the answer, defiance. So much respect for fighters who just drag everything out of themselves. Here's the ninth round. Chris Evangelou can't wait to get out. And for Danny Connor, more of the same. A style based on work rate. A style that's been effective. Headshots this time from Connor. Who's definitely warmed up as the rounds have ticked by. Not as much effort going in from Evangelou. He certainly slowed down. Red and white skirt like outfit, remember? Of Connor. Bit bloodstained now. Right hand gets through to the chin of Evangelou. And actually, the lack of power in this fight has made it really compelling. <laughs> it has. It has. They've both stood in range. They've both thrown lots of shots. They've took them. They've given them. 
You know, the last two live fights, we've seen real power punches in there. Guys who can, who can crack heavy shots. These two haven't been blessed with that, but they've been blessed with fighting heart and spirit and have delivered a, a pretty even match, which we could easily watch again. But lots of action all the way through this. Here comes Danny Connor, keeping the work rate going. He's obviously feeling it better in the late rounds. Less coming from Evangelou. Trying to reserve his energy. Fighting spurts. Just backs off again, Evangelou. He's the crowd of it, Evangelou. He said he'd give everything because he's fighting at home in front of his people. You know, that extra ingredient of Alexandra Palace, a stone's throw from his home. They'll be tired after this one, the power of them, won't they? They've given everything, haven't they? He slipped a nice little body shot in. Evangelo, but still not doing a great deal. This time, the left two two of them didn't land. Yeah, neat and tidy from Connor. Come on, then, he says. <laughs> <laughs> He's fancying it now. Getting himself back in this fight. again from Evangelou, late on, but look at this, look at that rally from Connor. They bump hands, but there's so much respect in that ring between the two. Great to see. You're not, OK? So this for your chin against Chris you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. This round, you've got to go out and this round and beat. Last round, this I'll keep with you. All that bollocks about he's pulling you in because he's fucked them. Excuse the language in the corner. I tell you what, they're getting worked up. The crowd are entertaining. It has been. Yeah, well, they haven't got a winner yet, and that's what it means to them. I'm looking around at ringside, Glenn, and everyone's got a smile on their face. Yeah, they didn't expect to see a little treat at the end of the night. Now, been a little classic, hasn't it? What a great little sight. That well, southern area. Title. It's got a history as well. Goes back to the early 1970s. Previous champions like Chris Senegar, who's here somewhere. Clinton McKenzie, Terry Marsh, John Faxon, Lenny Dawes. It's worth having. And one of these guys is going to come through. It might be Chris Evangelou, but Danny Collar wants none of this. He's come out firing and he's improved in the latter rounds. Well, I love both these boys' attitude. Really put on a good show. And Danny Connor wants to pull this right at the end. He wants to, to pull it out and get the win. And he's the one making headway. I wonder if it was a 12-round fight, whether, you know, he'd nick it down the stretch. He might be too far behind. But it, you don't know how Ken Curtis has seen it. You just cannot take anything away from the commitment of Danny Connor. He's not as good as Chris Evangelou, but boy, has he got his bigger heart. No, it's just a shame he hadn't got, cut. He hadn't got hit with some of those eye-catching punches early, because if he just managed to keep the chin down, block them on the gloves, he'd be banging this with a, with a great chance of causing an upset. And he's still mate. Good right hand from Connor. 145 to go. Evangelou looks tired. Almost got rid of his man in the third round, Evangelou. Couldn't capitalise on it, and he's had a long, hard night because of it. Well, first half of the round is Connors. He looks the more determined, he looks the, the fitter. Still bounce on his feet, on his legs. The spring there from Connor. Defied being hurt, defied a nosebleed. Jimmy Tibbs beckoning him in in the corner. Danny Connor. Evangelou trying to box his way home. He wants the bow. 
but he's desperately tired of Angelo because he would have picked it up if he could. He would have thrown hooks. He can't do anything. He's defending himself. People at ringside are bobbing and swaying on their feet, throwing hooks for the pair of them. They have loved every minute. In the old days, they'd throw coins in, wouldn't they? They certainly would, yeah. Don't think the boxers would mind if they did now. Last 30 seconds, here comes Evangelou with a late surge. Crowd are loving it. Well, it's often said that boxing's about timing and about levels. The level for the Southern Area title between these two, spot on. They match each other all the way. And I'll tell you what, it's time to find out who wins, and it's time to get a rematch, because this was great. What an ending to a great night of boxing, and that's with a kiss at the very end. A kiss, a hug, a chat, and I'm sure there'll be a beer shared afterwards between these two little warriors, Chris Evangelou and Danny Connor. Bear well, their souls in the I'll ring. Tell you, I think on my scorecard, I've got it. Very close, but a draw for me would not be a bad result. I think I slightly have it in favour of, of Angelou. Over 900 punches thrown, many landed. The effort, what a really good 10 rounder. And we just wait because Ken Curtis gives the scorecards now to the MC. A slight delay now under British rules. If Angelou believes he's got it, so do his fans. And uh, a bit of drama as we wait to find out the result. We don't know. We think of Angelou, but as Glenn said, if it was a draw, you just wouldn't argue. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 superb rounds of championship boxing, referee Ken Curtis has scored the contest 98 to 94 for the winner. And the new Southern Area, like welterweight champion, from Carl Shelton, Danny Curtis, Connor. Well, well Cat Curtis felt that Danny Connor did more. Subjective at times, different ways, different styles. There's booze around here, obviously, of the Evangelou fans. He loses his unbeaten record and he gets it 6 2 2. He gets it by four, Danny Connor. I mean, Maybe he didn't deserve it like that, but I tell you what, you can't take anything away from him. No, and I think one way or the other, this fight will have to happen again, and I think we will see it, and see it pretty soon. Excellent fight. I tell you what, let's get a word with both of them, Evangelou and Connor, side by side. A great ten-rounder. I think we've got to see that one again. I think Ed Robinson's going to try and get a word with both fighters who are getting hugged and congratulated by the fans at ringside. It was a really good one. Ed, over to you. Well, Danny, how pleased are you with that result? Danny? Danny, Danny, how pleased are you with that result? Yeah, I'm, I'm well happy with that. You know, all credit to Chris, because he, listen, he's slippery. Before this fight, I thought he didn't, he weren't no good. I thought that he was oh, going to be a big step up. It was a hard, like, see what the fans think. It was 50 50. It could have gone either way, you know. One of them. Could have gone either way, but at the end of the day, look, I'm, I'm a man of my word. I said to him, whoever wins, I'll give him the rematch. If he wants a rematch, he can have a rematch. No problem from me. Chris, it was a great scrap. You obviously thought you won, but a rematch? Uh, definitely a rematch. Um, I, I did genuinely think I won. I, I got the cleaner shots, but I tell you what, Danny's got an engine on him. All respect to him. I thought I was going to come and knock him out in four or five rounds. He took my left hooks that no one really takes. I know I haven't got a, a big knockout record, but my sparring, I put people down with my left hook all the time. He took about ten. So all respect to Danny. God bless him. We wish him all the best of his career. And all right, I've lost one. I've tasted defeat. So has uh, Sugar Ray Leonard. So has Mike Tyson. So has Muhammad Ali. It doesn't matter. The Flash has to taste it once in, in, you know, in this life. Promoter Eddie Hearn, in a, in a word, can there be a rematch? Will you promote it? I hope so. You know, I didn't quite score it like that. I thought it was a close fight. But listen, respect to Danny. He's been for a lot. He deserves it. But I felt Chris won it. But if we can do it again, you know, we see how many tickets they sold tonight. We'll do it again. It was a great fight. And I think they deserve it. Well done, both of you. 
Spencer, how did you see it? Did you give it to Danny Connor? There's no disrespect to Danny Connor, but I didn't really think he won the fight. I thought Evangelou won the fight. I thought he was the one landing the cleanest shots, throwing the better combinations. Um, you know, Danny Connor played his part in a tremendous little battle, and it was worthy of the Southern Area fight, but I had Evangelou winning that. He didn't win that. <laughs> Connor didn't win that. That, that. That's just my opinion. Well, our opinion, he didn't win that. I think uh, Evangelou box a lot a, a lot smarter, a lot sharper, a, a lot more consistent. Uh, yeah. Connor showed a lot of heart. Uh, determination, stubbornness, uh, and he came back. He wouldn't. He wouldn't will. But I just, I can't see how they scored it. Like, I don't see it. I can't yeah. see We'd it. We'd love to see it again. That's for sure. Oh, for really, sure. really for good. Sure. Let's round up what else has happened this fine night. Is it since John Ryder proves he's a force at middleweight? Twenty-four-year-old notch up win number twelve, stopping Hungarian Sandomikso in two. Win number two, an easy night's work for Kauli Afa, the man who just missed out in London 2012, blasting out an international opponent in one. Another former amateur star, Martin J. Ward, came through his pro debut, four-round distance against Christian Lane. More in-depth look at those in ringside on Thursday. Just the start of a terrific night of action. A couple of hours away, WBA, WBC, super middleweight king Andre Ward against two-time world light heavyweight champion Bad Chad Dawson. Action-packed bill, live from California, 2.30, Sky Sports 1 HD. As we mentioned, yeah. reaction to all tonight and that as well.